At last, someone to help. You look like you're at loose ends. Interested in making some money? The boss hired a matchmaker named Ashtad to find a groom for his daughter, and he sent me out here to recruit someone. He says he'll pay well. He's up at our camp now. Can you help? I've been out here long enough. No, you'll help Ashtad. The boss suspended hostilities for the wedding. No one will attack you. And if you take the job, tell that matchmaker to call me in. This is no work for a certified cutthroat. Go on, through the tunnel and up the hill. You must be here to work with that matchmaker Lug. If so, the boss says I can't touch you. Which is a shame, because some of that stuff you're wearing looks pricey. And I don't like your smarmy friend inside the tent. Stay out of my way. Let you want me to show you the color of your guts. Who are you? You don't look like one of the ungodly. Wait. Are you here to help the matchmaker? Because that's me. Yes, well, uh, I'm in a bind. I'm considering potential grooms for Sarvia at Wilder, but she refuses to talk to me. I have to know what she wants in a husband, or Wilder the Ungodly, who hired me, won't gather the dowry. So I need you to talk to her. Eager. Great. Once you learn what Sarvia at Wilder wants in a groom, talk to her father, Wilder the Ungodly. Tell him it's time to get the dowry where the grooms can inspect it, to see how serious we are. Now go, and be persuasive. Don't talk to me. I have problems. Big problems. You wouldn't understand. I guess he's just not going to give up and go away. All right, I suppose I'll have to talk to you then. At least you have an honest face. So, as if I didn't know, what is it he wants? I'm not looking for a bridegroom at all. Marriage? <laughs> Maluk, take it. I want to travel, see the world, have adventures. No, you should be talking to my father, Wilder the Ungodly. This was his idea, not mine. Are you here to help arrange my daughter's marriage? She's got her mother's spirit and her temper. So, what does Sarvia Ed Wilder expect in a bridegroom? Good, then it's up to me. First he needs to be strong or my daughter will make a fool of him. Respectful of his elders and wealthy, of course. Oh, and uh, not too hard on the eyes. I don't want to get sick of looking at him. Of course, of course. A good groom deserves a good dowry. I have some gold and silks from, uh, well-wishers. They're stored in the upper camp. Gather the goods and take them to the entrance tunnel. 
Ashtad wants the dowry near the entrance where prospective grooms can inspect it. I'll send a guard down with a chest. Place the dowry in it. All right, off you go. No robbery, extortion, or drunken reverie until after the wedding. Bloody Wilder and his blasted daughter. What are we supposed to do, eh? Are we the ungodly, or ain't we? Pui. Watch it, stranger. Wilder the Ungodly put me here to keep an eye on his daughter's dowry. Still alive. Quick, get me out of here. All right, I suppose I owe you that. I'm not a matchmaker. I'm a swindler, a confidence man. This is one of my classics. I tell the Mark I'll arrange a marriage. They gather a dowry. I steal the dowry and disappear. Now, get me out of here. Because I've reformed. Now I only target those who deserve it, like these idiot bandits. I'm only taking their ill-gotten gains. Serves them right. The keys to unlock my shackles are in Wilder's tent. Get them, please. Looking for something? A set of keys, perhaps? Everything, I think. I'm not so easily fooled as my father. I knew there was something wrong with that matchmaker from the start. Eventually, I figured out his game. The same way I figured you for a harmless dupe. You are, aren't you? Only if I get to go with you. 
Ashtad's plan was brilliant, a bit flawed, but brilliant. He probably would have gotten away with it if I hadn't tipped off my father. He lives the life I want, traveling the world and having exciting adventures. Sorry, I haven't got them. But I could get them if you can distract my father and the ungodly for a few minutes. My father and his bruisers are at the upper sparring ring, through the far tunnel. Why don't you go challenge him to a fight? Yes, he's bound by the unwritten laws of the ungodly. My father can't refuse a challenge and keep his position as the boss. Just don't kill him, all right? He may be an ox's arse, but he's still my father. Thank you. I'll grab the keys and free Ashtad while you distract the camp. Meet me outside our entrance tunnel after you've challenged my father. I am quite sure you'll survive. He goes to the city just for the pickpockets. Says it's the only one. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Now I get to take it out of your hide. What? How, how do you know about that? It's an unwritten law. Fine then, go ahead. Watching the boss kill you isn't as good as doing it myself. But it's close. your pockets, you snake. Stop! I yield! I admit defeat! Defeated Wilder? He's been our leader for years. This isn't right. You're not even an ungodly. The rules might say that we have to swear loyalty to you, but to oblivion with that. We're bandits. We break the rules. No, I won't fight you, but I won't kneel to you. The others won't either. In fact, I suspect they're just as likely to cut you down as they were before. Wilder is the leader of the ungodly, and you are an enemy. I would leave if I were you. My father, does he live? Good. As you can see, I have Ashtad. With my help, he might even become a good swindler someday. Anything would be better than staying in that camp. It's difficult to be the daughter of a man known as the Ungodly. 
Can you believe Servia at Wilder agreed to join me? I've been a one-man act till now, but she's a bright lass and will make a great partner. And she still holds the key for this chest. <laughs>